Hey, gang, look, if you ain't already know, I've been enlisted for the defense of our planet. Yes, sir, look, your boy has been fighting a good fight for Super Earth. So I've reached level 50 about a week ago. Since level 30, I've just been grinding the level seven missions. Now that I have most of the ship upgrades unlocked, let me tell you, the upgrades are major. Make sure to scoop up the samples on every mission. Don't skimp out. Big news, we just got an update yesterday that was major. Yeah. And what's even more major is that we are getting that big boy patch on March 7th. Hey, uh, yes, sir. Confirmed by the developers themselves. So in this video, we're going to go over three things. First, we're going to summarize this patch. Secondly, we're going to take a deep dive into the patch notes. And then three, I'm going to give you guys some five-star general tactics. And by some, I mean quite a few. So stay locked if you want to be like Spec Ops. So what's in the patches? Let's talk about it. To summarize it, this patch buffed some of the guns that really needed it. But the major nerf was for the rail gun. We also got some stratagem buffs, which is actually pretty cool. The coolest thing is that they added new planetary events like the planetary shower and the fire tornado. And that's all I've seen in the patch notes. These planetary events are real dope and they add a lot of sauce to the game. I cannot wait to see what else they come up with. The only negative really, and I was hoping they would fix this, is the endless enemy reinforcement loop. There needs to be a cooldown on the time in which enemy reinforcements can get ready, like for one. They shouldn't have just immediate access to reinforcements, especially the bugs. And two, there needs to be a longer time in which it takes for them to call in the reinforcements against specifically the bugs. For example, I hate when I kill the bug right as it calls in the reinforcements, but then it spawns millions of bugs back to back. This is at level seven plus. Basically, what you end up having to do is just run from them, which is not a problem because it's normal that you got to run to fight sometimes. But a lot of times, the meta just becomes running just so you can just kill millions of bugs and they just continuously call in reinforcements after reinforcements. It's beatable. We beat it at Hell Dive already, but man, it's yeah. The other thing that they do too is that they'll spawn the enemies right on top of you sometimes and it's like, uh, okay, now that was the scoop. Let's dive into the specifics of this patch. As for the weapons that were upgraded, the SG-225 Breaker got a magazine capacity decrease and increased recoil. The SG-8 Punisher increased ammo capacity, increased stagger force, increased damage. The Breaker Spray and Pray increased armor penetration, increased fire rate, increased pellets, decreased mag size. This one is major. The Railgun decreased armor penetration in safe mode, Decreased damage against durable enemy parts. Basically with the real gun, with heavy enemies, you're gonna see a lot more ricochet of that real gun shot. You're gonna have to use it in unsafe mode to get the most damage out of it. And even in unsafe mode, it's not gonna penetrate every time. On top of that, in unsafe mode, you're still running the risk that you're gonna blow yourself up trying to get the most damage and this I, I just don't think it's worth it but there are alternatives now and that's the good thing the flamethrower increased damage per second by 50 percent that's a major buff and last but not least the laser cannon increased damage against durable enemy parts and increased armor penetration increased ergonomics but from what i've noticed is that the laser cannon can now penetrate a lot more heavy armor than it used to be able to so Laser cannon might be the way to go, at least against the automatons. All right, our stratagem buffs. Shield generator pack increased delay before recharging. So that's actually a really big nerf to the shield bubble pack, which I'm not mad at because I felt like it was just a shield railgun meta. And so now we're hopefully gonna be able to switch it up a little bit. I still think we need more options to be able to kill at higher levels. In the March 7th patch, we're gonna be getting a lot more tools to play with. So that's gonna be fine. Lastly, for the stratagems, the Orbital 120 millimeter barrage and the Orbital 380 millimeter barrage. Basically, they're gonna bomb the area longer, which is a significant buff because this Orbital Strike is actually pretty powerful when it actually lands. It misses a lot, but when it lands, it's actually pretty powerful. All right, last and certainly not least, we have the fixes. And one of the major fixes is the armor. Now armor does make a difference. You can take a lot more hits now. This also is gonna help alleviate the shield railgun meta, basically the bubble shield pack. Fix certain bug holes and including stalker nests that were hard to destroy. That's a big one. Just with limited explosives, it's gonna be easier to destroy those holes now, probably even with the airstrikes. Anti-aliasing fixed on PS5. Balance lighting across all planets. They improved the flashlight, which is fire. Increased visibility doing sand rain, which is sand rain, okay. And last but not least, improved cases where some materials could look blurry if lighting graphics are set to low. So they're just making overall fixes. All right, guys, that was the entirety of the patch. Those were all of the patch notes. 
lastly, I'm gonna leave you guys with some five star general tactics. Yeah. These five star general tactics apply at level seven to level nine. So if you can do them there, you can do them anywhere. Don't be afraid to experiment with the stratagems. I'm always mixing and matching, trying to find something new that works and really just doing my best to utilize the entirety of the arsenal that they give us, specifically applying to them sentries. Once you get your ship upgrades, your sentries become really powerful. Increase health, increase ammo. The biggest upgrade is probably the advanced rotation upgrade, making your turrets rotate towards the enemies faster. This alone is really powerful for the Gatling Sentry the mortar sentry and my personal favorite the auto cannon sentry you would be surprised the useful dish you can get out of the tesla sentry too it's difficult because it's easily destroyed by chargers and it's almost useless against the automatons because they can just shoot it but even against the automatons if you can get a good placement around the corner there's been plenty of times where that tesla core can rack up 40 kills it's almost unkillable to anything smaller than the charger next navigating a minefield can be crucial if you don't use the mine sentries you won't navigate minefields very often but i suggest that you get used to using those sentries because if you can navigate a minefield well it really pays off to have the enemies just chasing you and they continuously are just getting blown up by your mines especially the incendiary mines a lot of times the incendiary mines are like napalm when you see this point of interest this means it has loot there but when you see this point of interest that means you looted it already and all the loot is gone. Next, one of the biggest things you need to get familiar with at level seven plus is kiting. Kiting is basically running from your enemies, creating distance so that you can turn around and counter attack by throwing stratagems, grenades, or by killing as many as you can just to create more space. At level seven plus, it's gonna get really overwhelming at times and you gotta do whatever you gotta do to survive. Another one that people might actually sleep on is change your FOV. By using a wider FOV in most games, you're usually able to see a lot more. I typically like to have a wider FOV myself. And last but certainly not least, this is the ultimate five-star general tactic. This tactic will help you solo hell dive. Controlling the battlefield. That's correct, guys. Controlling the battlefield is going to make sure you go crazy at level nine, even as a solo. So as a five-star general, how do you control the battlefield? Don't be stratagem stingy. Using your stratagems, your grenades, and burning through all of your ammo is exponentially more important than saving them because they help you to control the battlefield and they're useless when you're dead. They're going to come off cooldown anyway, even though it feels like a short eternity keep it a buck but using those stratagems and the grenades especially at the moment when the reinforcements just pop up catch them off guard this is the way that you control the battlefield you control the battlefield like a five-star general you operate like spec ops you really can't lose at any level because you minimize the enemy numbers and you always maintain control over the battlefield that is key all right gang hope that video helped you out if it did hit that like leave a comment share repost all of that and if at first you don't succeed just brush yourself off and dive again yes sir and i'll see you on that battlefield